Hey guys, welcome back to the trying to show. Today guys, I'm doing a re-updated version of how to use a USB to a AVG for a PC or laptop. I'm doing like an update version, but probably the title for this one is going to be quite similar. Um, only reason I'm doing an updated version is because a lot of people were uh, asking where the drives were, how does it work, and all that good crap. So I'm going to do a re-updated version. I know it's like two years too late. Hey, update version is um, always a good time to update your version. So I will leave these drivers down below. I just found these drivers just a minute ago. Uh, I don't know if I still had the old drivers which I had on you. So I just re updated these. I just re downloaded them, should I say. So I will leave a link down below for these ones. I will keep this drive open until the video is uploaded. Um, so I'll keep a link down below for these drives in the description, so check that out as if you guys are interested. Uh, simply what you need to do then is, I currently have mine kind of set up, I already have the d drives downloaded, so yeah, you know the download drives, I'm going to show you that bit, that bit's just boring, it's pretty much just saying yes and no. Um, so I got my USB 3.0 AVG adapter plugged into the USB 3.0, one thing I just found a minute ago, do not plug them through the 3.0 splitters because you do get some graphic difficulties and it you know, doesn't look nice. Um, and then I got my AVG core which is then is plugged into this 90 inch TV which I record every Xbox gameplay off or at least every game console gameplay off. Which I, got, I will go over in a different video. Like that. Uh, on my PC, I only have one output built in, so this is the main output, and then I went is the DAP output, and you know, to me, looks good. Um, like I think like the last one, I did have some problems like, where I could chuck a video on, it didn't work, but this time around, it seems like to be working a okay. There's no sound because my sound system ain't turned on, and I personally can't be asked to turn it on. But you know what I mean, and I got two monitors instead of just one, uh, which now I can finally do the things which I always wanted to do. Just all about Premium Pro, drag YouTube, watch a how tutorial, and then I'm trying to find out where I got to do on that how tutorial and try to put in Premium Pro. You know, good way for me to help my editing skills, and also a good way for me to do editing quicker, as well as to see my upload time. And I got crap. And I'll see for the drivers, it's pretty much just download. So give me a minute, let me just close this. Run. Right, just in case Run. Uh, then go across, click yes. Uh, allow me to carry on. Uh, just agree, it's just about agreeing to the license and you know, make sure you're doing nothing stupid. So just click next, click next, click next. Uh, if you want to click icon if you want it to, yeah, you could do, do it. I'm going to skip this, I think. So uh, it's already installed, I'm going to set up. And then you click fresh. Boom, you're pretty much done, and now you get two monitors, and the adapter brand new, I think at the time was like 5 quid, 6 quid, 10, I think 10 is like the highest it goes, so it's quite cheap. Um, yeah, so we'll leave these links down below, these drivers down below. Just found out these ones are working. Uh, I think you possibly click the download one by the way. Uh, I think that was like a virus drive. Oh shit. So yeah, you might want to click the download one. But yeah, I will leave these links ones down below. Yeah, you can leave I will leave these links down below and then you go because the download from there. These ones work perfectly really well. Uh the ones I just found it, like I obviously say, and I have two models for the price of one, and now my, it means I can finally have a preview screen and an editing screen. Ah, oh, it's finally going to be good. Um, 
this is my late uh, quit. Uh, you know, mostly that's my like editing screen. I do make it bigger. And now I can finally make it as big as I want. Well, something to scream, so you know, I can make it big as this screen. So I finally now got editing. Now I got now I can finally got a preview screen as well as the editing screen. Is a lot cooler than it should be, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I wonder if I could just so yeah, that's pretty much it for this whole tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this Tuesday's video, and I will see you first this video, which at this point in time I'm looking at talking about Xbox Insider, which is tonight. Uh, which I'm not quite looking forward for that, and I want to know what Microsoft is up to with original Xbox games, and just in general, what they're doing with Xbox. So it's going to be interesting to see, and I will see you guys in the next um, video, which I do on this channel, how tutorial, or any other type of video on this channel. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.